Yes, this uh, Mason Hamlin Concert Grand is a model CC and it's a full nine feet in length, which is the same length as a Steinway uh, Concert Grand. <clears throat> it has some unique features that the Steinways don't have and I'd like to point them out to you. Um, the first thing is it has movable aliquots in the treble and the importance of that is that they can be tuned by sliding them around unlike with the Steinway piano it's a solid fixed bar that goes in there these are individual and when you get up to the top it it's tuned in a unison so that it has those movable aliquots all the way down here sometimes we refer to these as the angel choir the other feature that is vastly different from any other pianos and much, much better is that it has a, a cast iron ridge in the, in the frame of the piano that runs all the way down here that strengthens the piano with a double cupola uh, feature to the casting of the instrument. Uh, this is from 1914 and it is one of the finest pianos ever made in the world. It features uh, genuine Brazilian rosewood damper heads, as you can see here. And the other thing is, uh, underneath where the strings terminate, uh, underneath the capo diastro bar, it has individual termination uh, mounts so that and they're made of brass and so it produces a rather very sweet sound that's very compatible um, with vocal music and that's one of the reasons that many uh, uh, vocalists and sensitive musicians prefer the sound of it. Also it has on this side the uh, duplex system as you can hear here and uh, the instrument has been fully restored to its original condition, including the lacquer case, the new pin block, the new sounding board, new hand carved bridges, as well as a whole new action. And this instrument will give at least another 100 years of service to, um, to the church. Uh, we offer a five-year uh, service contract with the instrument and uh, that includes all of the tuning and regulation of the instrument. As you can see here, the, the sounding board, we have the original Mason and Hamlin logo and uh, it has the Farley soundboard logo below it. Down here in the lower bass section, each uh, note has three wound bass strings for it, which gives you a wonderful sonority in the crossover of the tone. Uh, triple wound strings here and doubles down here. And also that the bridge runs all the way down and goes underneath and comes back up and it connects to the, uh, to the bass bridge. So it's a continuous bridge from bass to treble. As you can see here, the mahogany laminations in the core of the bridge also give it a very special sustained sound to it. In my, uh, uh, it also has here um, the autograph of the very famous musician Dick Hyman uh, and uh, he said it was one of the finest pianos that he had ever played in his whole life. Uh, and uh, he actually came out with a CD of this instrument, which is a wonderful tribute, not only to such a fine instrument, but a fine instrument that's been very, very well uh, restored uh, meticulously to the original Mason and Hamlin specifications.